Hey guys, I'm just outside doing a bit of cooking and I thought I would do a couple of quick videos um, just going over some of the equipment I use for outdoor cooking because it can be a bit of a minefield uh, knowing what to get, where to start, um, what's good, what isn't and I thought I'd share a couple of the bits of kit I use just in case it's of use. Um, I've just done another video which I'll post um, hopefully around the same time as this one about my pellet smoker which is a brilliant bit of kit um, but the other thing I'm quite fond of is um, outdoor gas grills or cookers not just for when I'm at home but also when we're out and about we enjoy going camping and, and traveling and stuff like that so something that's fairly compact um, but still capable of cooking a full meal I find really handy and in previous videos I've had my Kadak Safari Chef um, which is a really small gas barbecue grill um, set up and it's really handy because you can you know you can barbecue on it you can grill on it it's got the flat plates it's also got pot stand so you can really do a lot on it the only downside is it's just one cooking element so you can only use or do one thing at a time so it's my birthday recently and I was very spoilt and my dear mother and stepdad got me a slight upgrade on that. So it's kind of like the Kadak Safari Chef's big brother. So I was going to go over that and just give you my first impressions because I've used it a couple of times now and I'm going to be using it today. So we'll go have a look at it now. And here we have it set up next to my Traeger. So this is the Kadak 2 Cook 3 Pro. Bit of a weird name. Also, I didn't realize, but Kadak, Dometic um, are both one and the same company. I think Dometic are their sort of trading name in the States. I might be wrong. Um, but certainly Kadak's been around um, as long as I can remember because we used to have um, Kadak stuff when I was growing up. Um, so yeah, this is the, the cooker I've got and this one comes with a really nice carry bag which is really, really well designed because everything fits in there and it fits in there really neatly. Um, and you can see I've sort of got, I've got it half set up for different things. So the stove itself comes with two pot stands which are these black stands here and then it also comes with this um, what they call a coffee pot stand so I think if you've got a smaller pot typically a coffee pot on there it allows you to use that and then it comes with two of these um, cooking plates one of them this one is ribbed and the other one is flat and then also in the pack and you can see here where they pack into the bag that's the flat one, it's really handy. And then in the back here, we've also got these two wind brakes. I haven't fitted them because we've got no wind today, but they're essentially slotting on the side just to reduce in any of the effect of wind. So like I say, we've got no wind today. I haven't bothered with those. And the other really handy bit of kit in this pocket is this which allows you when these are hot to lift your plates on so you can change around so if you've finished grilling on there you want to put a pot on put your coffee on you can lift that off place your pot stand back on and use it honestly brilliant bit of kit um, the version i've got is a quick release version so i've got the hose set up to the gas bottle and these are really um, smart bits of kit because you can get what's called a power pack I'll put an image of that in there where you can use the easy to find disposable gas bottles to power this which is a brilliant idea so if you get caught short you run out of gas um, you've got another option there is also options to get hoses where you can connect to different um, types of gas as well so propane butane it is multi-fuel um, so yeah, it's a really versatile, really useful bit of kit. And the build quality is fantastic. It's all metal, 
You've got stainless steel under there, which is dead easy to clean. And this body of it, I think the bottom is um, like an ABS plastic, really strong hard wearing. The lid is quite a thick gauge steel, nicely powder coated. It's got a latch, which means you can close it securely. And then you've got your piezo ignitions on each burner. So yeah, honestly, brilliant bit of kit. I'm well impressed so far, and the heat output's absolutely amazing. I did, um, a couple of weeks ago, I did a steak on these, and I got the best crust I've ever got on a steak. Really, really good heat output. And like I say, the bag, really well designed. Sometimes bags, carry cases for things are you know, almost like a second thought. This one is just so well thought out. It works really well, nice compact design. You can see the instructions on there for how to pack it. And it's padded as well, so it protects your stove. Yeah, honestly, really impressed with it so far. Obviously, early days, I've only used it a few times, gonna use it again today. Um, but yeah, so far, so good, really impressed and I'm looking forward to using this on our travels and outdoors in the garden. I just love when the weather's nice, being outdoors and cooking. It, it's just fun and stops me stinking out of the house when I'm doing uh, high heat steaks and getting nice crusts on things on, on steaks. Um, so yeah, less complaints indoors. So yeah, that's uh, just my first early early impressions of the Kadak 2 Cook 3 Pro. Really nice bit of kit. And if you are looking for something to allow you to cook outside or whilst you're on the move or traveling, really good bit of kit that. And be superb for camper van conversions, camping holidays, um, caravans, um, if you want something to put out in the awning, um, even on boats or anything like that. Really nice compact design but really loads of room to be uh, cooking a decent meal on there. So yeah, I'll leave it there. Hopefully put some pictures in. Um, I'll put some pictures in of the steaks I've done and um, I'll put a picture in of the, the other cooker I've got, the little one. I did do a, a brief review of that in one of my previous videos. But yeah, the, the, the Kadak, uh, the Metic stuff, um, yeah, I can't complain. Um, the little one I've had for years and years now and it's still going strong, so really pleased with the uh, the build quality so i'll leave it there um, let me know if you've got one of these or if you've got similar or um, other recommendations because i'm always looking at um, good bits of kit for cooking and traveling and stuff like that um, so yeah any comments would be more than welcome any questions far away and i hope this has been useful